Anthony at the Hobby Center here, and we have some great news to tell you. For the first time ever, we have our first Gumpla collection. And so today we'll look through it and I'll show you what's inside the box. So without further ado, let's start off with this old Wing Zero Custom. This is a pretty old kit. Uh, I forget when it came out, probably around 2009-ish. I don't really know, but I've heard it's an awesome kit. We have two in the case over there. So if you're ever in the store, you could see one already built. So this is our first find. Next one's even cooler, and I haven't seen this one in like three years. Uh, crossbone gun to master grade. Now a lot of this collection is master grade, so for all you guys who want giant robots, we got them. Uh, the effect parts on this one are sweet, especially with the beam shield and the cloth. It's an awesome kit. I see a lot of cool builds on them too. Next we've got a personal favorite of mine, a little newer, uh, the Gundam RX-78 NT1 Alex. This one comes with both the uh, standard armor and an additional reactive armor to go on top. It also has some nice metallic parts on it for the barrels and the thrusters. Pretty damn nice kit. Next, we've got something more common, but with the new Seed movie releasing, we've got the Force Impulse Gundam. This guy's cool, he has a whole bunch of swords. Really good color separation on this one too. A very fun build. Now before we get into more master grades, let's check out some high grades. We've got, uh, with from the new Witch from Mercury series, the Daro Blade, or Dari Balde, my bad. Uh, this is an awesome little kit. Brand new molding, be a fun build. And then the best selling Gundam ever, according to internet sources, the Ariel. This thing smoked out of the store when we first got it and we still have trouble keeping it in stock. It's a high grade with this here. Um, awesome effect part. I think there's only one sticker for the eyes, but that's pretty much it. Oh, there's a couple more, but this is an awesome kit to build. Really easy to put together with a lot of articulation. And then here's something from the same series as the Alex. The High Gog. This thing's an uh, awesome aquatic mobile suit. Has two large missiles on the hands. I haven't built one myself, but I've seen people paint it up to look like a crab, which I think is pretty goofy. <laughs> and then here's something a lot of people are going to try to fight over. And we haven't had this in a while. Hopefully they reprint it soon. But the uh, Gusion Rebate Full City. This thing is an awesome mobile suit from Iron Blood Orphans. And I know there's going to be a lot of people fighting for it. And time for our second last master grade. A Sinanju from Gundam Unicorn. I haven't built this one personally, but looking at it, the gold accents on it here look insanely nice if you don't want to paint it. It looks like it even comes with gold for a unicorn horn too. So if you have an MG Unicorn, you could also do that. But the effect parts look sweet. Well, all right. And we're back. Uh, we just had a little phone call there, but time for the last one. This thing hasn't been out in quite some time, but it is the Gundam Unicorn with base. It also comes with a whole bunch of figures, uh, like the... Uh, other master grade where it only comes with the uh, pilot figure but it comes with uh, a whole base for it so if you want to recreate the opening scene of unicorn when he first hops in it there with the flames all around this would be the one to start off anyways that's our brand new gundams collection don't forget to email us at hobson at rogers.com if you see anything here you want or you could uh, give us a call. Uh, here, do you want me to? Uh, I'll put it up on the bottom of our screen and you can call us there. I don't know off the top of my head, but thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. <laughs> okay, don't forget.
like, please subscribe, slap that bell, hit that like button, and join Team Hobby Center.